What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today. I got a special Mind of Apathy episode. We're going to be talking about specifically the importance of spawns. I have two EVAC hardpoint clips to show you guys. They're really good examples. And the funny part is we're both playing C9. This one is versus C9 Eclipse. The other one I'll be showing you after is versus just a regular C9. So I thought, you know, this is a great way to show you guys. Hardpoint, you know, rotating, uh, holding back spawns are so crucial and so important. So I'll give you guys a pretty good example right here. So obviously 20 seconds left. I pick up a kill. A slash bricks of a kill. We both end up getting heat wave and we both die. Now as soon as we spawn, 40 seconds left. We should be obviously holding this hill. No need to push that hill. I hope that's pretty obvious to you guys. Uh, we should be setting up for this next hill which is right here. Jcap's going to be pushing up forward. Which is not a bad play because he can technically do that. But unfortunately I think he's going to spawn out because John died on the far right side. So with John being dead... And Jcap dying, there's no one anchoring the back spawn, so they're going to spawn out. If John would have stayed alive glass side, like if he would have played um, like back AC, like more towards our spawn, which he should have done, uh, Jcap would have been totally fine. But fortunately, uh, they both got taken out. Now they're both going to spawn out. And this really hurts us. But a smart play me and Slasher do, Slasher and I do, is that we immediately start pushing the back. Why? Because there's no point of us staying in the hill. If we stay in this hill right here, we're going to die. And there's really no, we have to break the hill, and breaking this hill can be really hard. So, me and Sasha are going to back up, try to stay alive for our teammates. Unfortunately, he gets taken out. So, I'm like, alright, then you're out, I'm going to stay alive, and stay back here. Now, this is such a good play because, one, if I would have just rushed the hill and died, yeah, I might have got a kill, or two, maybe, max. But, they're still going to spawn back here. I did nothing to help my teammates respond. They're still going to have control of the hill, too. And it's really not doing much. Now, this play, let's say if I stay back here for a long time and their teammates and the C9 starts dying, they're going to spawn out due to me blocking the spawn back here. So, you know, I'm just staying alive here, trying to buy time for my team, trying to anchor the spawn pretty much. And this is a play you guys see Karma do, um, some players do, and it's a really good play. This is how uh, Hardpoint should be played. It's a really smart way and how subs should be doing. So I get one kill back here. Now, you guys see my mini map. Slasher's coming to help me, which I'll show you right here. Slasher, he's coming to help me, right? Which is good play by him because he knows I need help. So two of them are hitting the front right now. They are gonna get kills, whatever, which is good too. I'm in the back. I get one. Slasher's coming to help me, and now Slasher's gonna get one kill. Now I did get taken out, but Slasher gets one kill. And due to Slasher being there and due to me being back here for a little bit, John spawns AC. Let me show you. John spawned front AC. Now that's like a really, that's a really good spawn for us. So now, due to that, I'm probably, I'm pretty sure I'm going to spawn AC2. And boom, now we got spawns. The only person is one in the back. He gets taken out. And now we just regain control back of spawns. And it just, you guys saw how, how crucial and how important it was. How just working the spawns like that and having one player just being a nuisance and staying alive and rotating early. And the, like, that's for that hill right there. Like, one player can obviously go to the back and do that. But I'm going to show you a quick example before I go to the next clip. Which is like on the same thing. So another quick example about playing for spawns. And it's really good to do that. Anyone can do it on the team. It doesn't have to be the AR. It doesn't have to be sub. But there's 17 seconds left. We're, the, the mid hill is still up. Now normally you know you could hit the hill. Or you could rotate early to the next hill. But that's not really like playing for spawns. So I know there's some 50 seconds left. I'm like you know what. I'm going to go all the way around guys. And I believe I have my teammates start. Uh, they push out big door. Which really helps me pushing this around. And they break through. But this is just like the this is the type of play I'm talking about. Like you could even go all the way around the wall run. You could push through here. But if you know they have the back spawns for sure, then yeah, the smart play is going all the way around the backside, the helicopter and the wall run doing all that shit. But look, now due to us playing for the spawns, we have spawns. We have spawns control. And you want spawns for the hills. Like this is basic shit for any hard point. You want the good spawn. You want the spawn that spawns you closer to the hill. The spawn that's easier to hold. And it's going to benefit you. And that's why we fought for the spawns right away. And we got them. And now due to us having these spawns. We're going to pretty much have an easy hold on this hill. I don't know how easy I might be gassing it. Because obviously it's kind of breakable. And one of them did pinch which kind of hurt us. But it's just an easier way of holding, you know, it's it's just the best way to play hardpoint. Alright guys, now for the next clip. And really what I'm showing you, just how important, you know, like I'm showing you really good plays. And how everyone should be doing this. How important spawns are, you know, the importance of spawns. 
and it's just a smart way to play and i hope you guys learned a thing or two obviously every hill should be played differently you know rotating early playing sneaky playing for spawns could be really helpful now it's like it's the best play you could do for your team and putting your team in a position to win and that's why I, there's only a couple players who do this a lot and it's really effective like karma i think karma is one of the biggest players that likes to play for spawns and plays really smart when it comes to that but i'm about to show you guys another clip on evac which is a similar location but um before this happens, I'm just going to get a couple kills right here. Uh, just putting this part up real quick. So with 40 seconds left in the hill, uh, we're just working the hill, staying alive. I get one in the front. 30 seconds left, just laying down. Throw a nade, no problem. I have flak jacket. I believe I get this kill right here. Almost get the second one. Now, I spawn out with 23 seconds left, right? Realistically, I could go back and hit the hill. 23 seconds left, you know, it's arguable. But the way you always got to think about it, by the time I get to hill, it's going to be like 17 seconds left. I shouldn't really be 17 seconds left. My teammates have full control. I really shouldn't be doing that. Instead, the smarter play would be to rotate all the way around and start going to new hill. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go for new. Uh, I'm just going to rotate, guys. 19 seconds left. Now, let's let's see something real quick. Let me go to your team. Let's see where the other team is. So they have one guy rotated. Okay. So they have two front field and they have one guy holding glass, which is a good play by him. So, and for realistically, um, they're kind of rotating early. So, it's a good thing that I'm rotating early as well. Obviously, it would be better if they weren't rotating early because then it wouldn't be as effective. But since they're rotating early, it's a good thing I'm rotating early if I could somehow win this. So, I, I wall run, you guys saw that, low wall run to the side that way. There was, a, I think Llama was above me. He did not see me. So, I, I get by Llama, I'm pretty sure, if that's the case. Unless Llama's right here because I remember killing someone right here. Okay, so I get by Llama. Now, that leaves Assault wide open. I get this kill. I almost didn't get this kill, which could have been really unfortunate. I immediately go to the back and just playing my life. Like I said earlier, I saw Llama. I don't think he saw me. I get another kill. I get two down. And at the time I'm doing all this shit, my teammates are pinching the front because they, obviously that's like the only play they could do unless someone, one of them would have cut through mid or something. But they were all at the old hill. So they're pushing to the front. They get a kill or two. And me just being here spawns them out. And I'm going to show you guys. So I got to show you this better way. So here I kill Assault. Spawn up Assault. Okay, Assault just spawned up. Let's see where Assault spawned. Boom. Look where Assault spawned. He spawned in the other dimension. Okay. Now, hold up. now let's go back to me. Now I kill Llama. Now, due to Assault being a little pushed up, I believe Llama's going to spawn slightly closer. He spawns outside of AC. But at least it's not at the back. But you see me being back there negates that spawn. So they're going to spawn. And the reason Assault spawned all the way in the back there, though, is because the hill wasn't up yet. So therefore, the hill not being up, he's still getting that spawn as if it was the old hill. If you guys know that, that's actually another tip. That's why people say, watch the kill camp before the hill spawns up. Because if you watch the kill camp, then you're going to get a closer spawn, a little bit sp a spawn, you know, for that hill. But if you spawn, like, a second, let's say, with the hill, other hill remaining, you're going to spawn the fuck out. So that's why I saw a spawn there. But due to a, a new hill spawning up and a saw pushing up here, Llama's going to spawn here. Now, now I have two two people flying at me, right? You know what? You at this point you think Apathy's fucked. You know, Apathy did a great job. Got two kills. Spawned two out. I think John or Cap killed one of them in the front. So that guy uh, spawned AC as well. So now I'm like, all right. So I'm still going to play this. I get Havoc. You know, I just start boosting around. Making them think I'm still... I went inside the building. I get... My teammate Cap comes in the back. Helps me to get that kill. I have Llama one shot. Now Llama heat waves. But now we have control of the hill. We had control of the spawns for a little bit. And even though I believe we're, now we're just back and forth, back and forth fighting, but you guys just saw the play, how effective it was. You know, it's me spawning him out, me, like, they could have had a full setup. They could have probably got a full 40, 50 seconds on this hill, but just, just by playing the back and, and getting kills and spawning them out and being that nuisance, it's really hard for them to do that. Now, 70 seconds again, I'm rotating early. Now... Usually you want to do this, always rotate early and just play like that. But if you guys saw just the plays I got, I got like three kills in the back. I snuck right behind. I'm pretty sure Llama's up here somewhere. Where's Llama? Oh, there he is. I snuck right behind Llama and made him useless. Got the kill in the back. And, you know, just plays like this. I, you guys seen Karma do a play like this. And this is not just for this hole. Like, you could play on this hole like this. 
but there's other hills that you can do this it's not only just for this hill and that's the way you guys think you guys gotta think for a lot of hills like you remember the the back hill the second hill you can wall run all the way to like rotate early wall run all the way around the back and they don't really expect that and then if you kill that one guy in the back you you're blocking spawns and you're secure spawns and it, it's and then your teammates pinch the front and it's a complete like it's it's a good ass play either way guys i hope you enjoyed today's video this has been your boy apathy make sure to all have a great day don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'm out peace